Okay, so uh, firstly up front I want to say I've got two videos related to issues around this and I'm going to put them in the cards above if you like to see sort of a long form look at how these problems can be solved uh, and how they appear. Then check out the 3D cursor video as well as the uh, apply transforms and what are transforms. As well as the normals video, I'll put that on there because it's all really important to understand when trying to fix an issue like this. Um, and the issue that we're looking at, if I'm on my selection tool right now, which I am, in uh, global space, which it is, then things look good in some ways. You know, the mesh is rotated poorly and wrong, but if I start moving it around, I can, I can do things with it I want to do in world space. Um, where things start to get more tricky in the situation you're probably in is when you switch to local transforms and you want to start moving it along well from that face or uh, you know everything to be in order um, what you can try is pressing alt r and um, and that will reset that local transform to the world space i'd suggest just doing that because it'll make it easier to work with when you're trying to fix this issue, we're going to end up doing it again anyway. Um, and again, I don't think this solution is going to work for every single object, at least this initial solution, um, because I think it might, you know, rely on a, a uniform shape like this cube. Um, but we can see that the object is rotated poorly. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode on the mesh and select a single face. The reason I'm not going to do an edge is that the edge does contain uh, uh, Y information and the Z axis of this edge is also um, going to be normal here. So we can see that this does, we have got a transform here. But the more I move this around and the more weight the faces have uh, around it, the more that normal is going to skew away from potentially where we where it would be um, because it's it's like a, a weight between the edges um, so yeah so that's what we're going to look at you know so that's why I don't want to really pick an edge also in this case it puts it to a 45 degree angle but if we look at the face and it's normal then we've got the x and y following the edge the side edges and again, I don't think it's a perfect solution if the edge is, and the faces around the edge are in non-uniform directions. So you've got to be aware of that. You want a uniform face parented or attached as a normal on the mesh. Um, so this can work. But we can actually store that transform for the normal as a face here so when i press the plus sign we can rename it it doesn't have to be named face but in this case i'll just keep it as face transform um, and now that we've got it saved we can change the uh, 3d cursor orientation to transform uh, and that's going to now in object mode it's going to take the transform that we just put in and that's important because now we need to add a, a separate object and we need to orientate and align that object to the 3D cursor, which we can do. And now I'm going to join them together and then I'm going to delete that one. And then I'm going to reset this origin back to the geometry in this case. Uh, maybe I should have done that in a different way, but uh, in this case, I'm fine with it being in center of geometry. And then I'm going to use Alt-R, and we have fully reset this shape. And again, for all the reasons that I just described while doing it, this might not work on a really complex mesh. But, you know, clearly it's worked on this mesh. If the mesh is a little bit more complex, well, we're going to have issues. Um, I'm going to do the solution. Let's go with rotating this wrong. Um, and this does require an add-on. The add-on is called three-point snap. Uh, three point align, sorry. The, um, it's a three point align. Um, and the way that works is we can get a mesh with an orientation of whatever we want to align it to. And then we can use Alt T 
um, when we do this, Alt T, and we just select the three edges, uh, three vertices that we want to align with the other vertices. And then we hit enter. And the way that I should have reset the origin earlier was bringing a 3D cursor over there, setting this origin to the 3D cursor, and then joining them. And then removing that mesh. And now when I press Alt R, everything's back to normal because uh, of everything we just did. Um, so again, if you don't fully understand how that works and everything around it. I do cover very similar, if not the same stuff in another video. Um, that they're all linked in the card above. Um, so check that out. Thanks for watching.